Hello. Today we are going to understand Arrhenius theory of temperature dependency. Whenever any chemical reaction is carried out, the rate of chemical reaction depends upon the temperature. Now, to what extent the temperature can affect the rate of reaction can be explained by using different theories of temperature dependency. There are three theories, Arrhenius theory, collision state theory, and transition state theory. Now it has been reported that Arrhenius theory is the best approximation to explain the temperature dependency of rate constant. Now exactly what is this theory that we are going to understand it. Now consider the reaction A gives P. Now, the rate at which this reactant A will be converted into P is the function of concentration of reactant A and the temperature. Now, suppose if we assume concentration of reactant A constant and if we carry out the reaction or experimental trial at a various temperature or at a different temperature, then the ratio of rate constant will provide the accelerating and information about accelerating effect of temperature. Now, before we proceed further, let us try to understand the some salient features of theory, Arrhenius theory. So it states, it states for every reaction to take place, certain minimum amount of energy should be supplied. This energy is known as activation energy. So, for a particular reaction, since the activation energy is the energy required for making or breaking of the bonds or for the rearrangement of the bonds, thereby the formation or the conversion of reactant into product, if it is as it is a compound specific, it will remain constant. However, the rate of reaction will be affected by the temperature at which the reaction is carried out. Now, so as per the Arrhenius theory, certain minimum amount of the energy is to be supplied in order to initiate the reaction. Now, and once that energy is supplied, uh, the collision between the molecules, if they are energetic, and they will be because you are supplying certain minimum amount of energy, the reaction will occur. Now, we have studied that rate of reaction 
is function of temperature dependent term and function of concentration dependent term. The rate of reaction is the function of temperature dependent term and function of concentration dependent term. Now, if we keep this constant call, if, if concentration is kept constant, then rate of reaction will be proportional to function of temperature dependent term. Now this temperature dependent term is equal to rate constant. It is denoted by, it is denoted by small k. So this theories of temperature dependency, including Arrhenius theory of temperature dependency, correlate how the rate of reaction is affected because of the temperature. So now we'll try to derive or we'll try to write the mathematical expression, we'll simplify it for the variation in temperature. So as to understand the effect of uh, temperature on the rate of reaction. Now, mathematically or the mathematical expression for temperature dependency as per Arrhenius theory can be written as k is equal to k0 e raised to minus e1 rt. This is equation number one. Now, where K is equal to rate constant. Unit depends on order of reacts. K zero is frequency factor e is activation energy in joule per mole or calorie per mole now this depend upon the unit of ideal gas constant r
So we can write its value either in joule per mole per Kelvin or calorie per mole per Kelvin. And T is equal to temperature at which reaction is carried out. Now, let T is equal to T1, that is, assume that the reaction is carried out temp at temperature T1. So, in that case, equation 1 can be written as K1 is equal to K0 e raised to minus e upon R T1. This is equation number 2. Now, this K1 means rate constant if the reaction is carried out at temperature T1. K0 is a frequency factor. It has the same unit as that of the rate constant. E is the activation energy. R is constant, R is ideal gas constant and T is equal to temperature T1 at which the reaction is carried out. Now consider another temperature T is equal to T2. So corresponding equation can be written as can be written as K2 is equal to K0 e raised to minus e upon R T2. Say this is equation number 3. <coughs> now, in order to understand to what extent the reaction is accelerated, we have to divide equation 3 by equation 2 to understand accelerating effect effect due to change in temperature from T1 to T2 divide 3 by 2. So, if we do 3 by 2, then what we get is K2 upon K1 is equal to K0 e raised to minus E divided by RT2, K0, E raised to minus E upon RT1. So, this K0, K0 will get cancelled and we may simplify it as E raised to minus E upon R inside the bracket 1 by T2 minus 1 upon T1. Now, here the formula which I have considered for simplification is the law of indices a raised to x upon a raised to y is equal to a raised to x by y. So now let this is uh, equation 4 or we will rewrite again. K2 upon K1 is equal to E raised to minus E upon R into 1 by T2 minus 1 upon T1. This is equation number 4.
if we substitute the value of r activation energy and to temperature then it will give us an idea about how much the rate will be accelerated if the same reaction at same condition is carried out at two different temperature t1 and t2 now this can be further simplified as uh, by taking the log now so take ln of equation 4 now if we take ln of equation 4 then we can get or so ln of k2 divided by k1 is equal to now it will be ln of e rest to Minus e by r into one upon t two minus one upon t one. So ln of e to the base is one. So I can directly write as e upon r inside the bracket this is equation five. So this is a simplified form. of the mathematical expression of arrhenius law so this is another form now you must be able to remember that i said that the rate of reaction is accelerated if the same reaction is carried out at a two different temperature it is said that for every 10 degree rise in temperature the rate of reaction doubles now we will try to rewrite this equation 5 in terms of rate of reaction so considering reaction a gives r considering the reaction a gives r we can write we can write rate of reaction or rather rate law expression x minus r a is equal to k c a is to m so consider this as equation 6 now at t is equal to t1 we can write we can write minus r1 is equal to k1 c a is to n now say this is equation 7 now you will uh, you may say that sir why we have not changed the concentration the reason is we are not studying the effect of concentration we are studying the effect of temperature the reaction mixture of the same composition we are just trying to carry out the reaction at two different temperature at same operating conditions including concentration just to understand the effect of temperature so similarly at t is equal to t2 we can write minus r2 is equal to k2 ca Rest to n. This is equation eight. Therefore, eight divided by seven gives. Now, please try to understand minus r a two divided by minus r a one k two. C A is to n divided by K one C A is to n. So C A is to n. C A is to n will get cancelled. The C A is to n. The C A is to n will get cancelled, and therefore 
this minus r a two, this minus r a two by minus r a one will be equal to a two by k. This equation. Now, what we can do is we can replace k two by k one either in equation four or equation five by minus r a two by minus r a one or the ratio by which even this itself can prove that the ratio by which the rate constant is exchanged by the same ratio the rate of reaction will also change. So if rate of reaction doubles for every ten degree Celsius rise in temperature, it means the value of rate constant will also double. So just for the sake of understanding, replace k two by k one by minus r a two by minus r a one in equation number five and rewrite the equation. So let us write ln of now i am writing in place of k2 by k1 the terms of rate is equal to minus e upon r inside the bracket 1 upon t2 minus 1 upon t1 equation equation number 10 so in this way we have tried to understand we have tried to understand the accelerating effect of the temperature on the value of rate constant and thereby on the rate of reaction now uh, this situation can be understood either by solving the problems by substituting the condition of temperature and r and activation energy but we can solve this graphically also and you must have realized by this time that if the value of k2 by k1 and t2 and t1 and r is given we can find out activation energy or if activation energy r and two temperature is given you can find out the ratio of k2 by k1 or minus r2 by k Minus R A one or any unknown. Now, uh, let us consider again the equation three. Uh, equation uh, rather the basic equation. So I'll rewrite uh, the same the same temperature dependency. relation can be graphically expressed expressed or rather can be estimated graphically now how will you how will you do it or how will you estimate it graphically so the mathematical equation of arrhenius equation is k is equal to k0 e raised to minus e upon rt now take ln of both side if you take ln of both side then you will get ln of k is equal to ln of k0 now ln of now plus plus ln of e raised to e raised to minus e by rt if you simplify then it will be simply e by rt and this is of the form y is equal to c plus mx and therefore therefore if you plot the graph of if you plot the graph of ln of k versus 1 upon t 
then you will get the relationship like this and the slope will be equal to minus e upon will be equal to minus e by r and the value of intercept will be equal to ln of k0 so if the value of the rate constant at different temperatures are given then by graphical method also you can determine the value of activation energy or if just two values are given then you can substitute either in equation 5 or equation 10 depending upon whether the rate or rate constant is given and the problem can be uh, solved so in this way using the arrhenius theory of temperature dependency uh, the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction can be understood now this slope this slope of this ln of k versus 1 by t graph depend upon whether the reaction or depending upon the temperature at which the reaction is carried out or depending upon the value of activation energy uh, so depending upon the value of activation energy uh, the temperature sensitivity of the reaction will differ and accordingly the slope of this curve uh, of this straight line will also differ so thank you for watching this video and in this video step by step i have tried to explain how uh, the temperature dependency of the rate constant using arrhenius theory uh, uh, is expressed mathematically and how the arrhenius theory can be used for understanding the accelerating effect of the temperature on the temperature uh, of the temperature on a value of rate constant or on the value of rate of reaction we have also tried to simplify it uh, simplify the equation to determine the finite change we have also seen the graphical method by which if the values of rate constant at different temperatures are given then how by graphical method we can determine the value of activation energy now uh, in a simplified form or in a arrhenius equation if all except other variables are given then the unknown can be determine it may be that unknown to be determined may be an activation energy or it may be the value of rate constant if the value of rate constant at one one temperature is given and if the reaction is to be carried out at another temperature and if the activation is energy is known then what would be the value of active uh, rate constant at temperature t2 all these type of the calculations can be done using this Arrhenius equations or say Arrhenius by using the Arrhenius mathematical expression of Arrhenius theory of temperature dependency. Thank you. Thank you for watching it. Uh, please, if you are watching my video for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Praveen Bhandari Nardodi. Do share among your networks and keep visiting the channel for more videos of this kind. Thank you once again. Thank you.